Welcome back. Well, Dr. Bruce joins us today. We're talking about natural antibiotics, things we could put in our food while cooking, like honey, cloves, garlic, stuff like that. Kind of talk about what we should use and how we should use them to kind of help our systems. Well, let's start with a caveat, and that is be careful about thinking that you can take these and then you don't need to go to your doctor. Yeah. That's not what I'm recommending. You have a cold and you're just going to no, take a no. spoonful No, no. You know, honey. if you're really sick, you're sick. Yeah. But the simple issue is cooking with garlic, not raw garlic. <laughs> Interesting enough, raw garlic causes bleeding. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you want to cook with garlic. And garlic is, is an amazingly good antibiotic. It also is quite good on lowering cholesterol. And it's simple, you know. Yeah, you usually you add garlic to a lot of stuff for the flavoring. And you can buy the jarred type, and it's just as good. And you don't have to scrape it and do all of that jazz. The second one is honey, but honey's not for oral. Honey is a really wonderful wound healer. Okay. So if you've got a, a wound that is not healing well, you can talk to your practitioner or you personally can do it. You can buy honey wraps. And what they do is they have an antibiotic in them, but on top of it, they cut down the air and they kill the bacteria that way. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they force them to go without oxygen and essentially kill the bacteria. I know, yeah, people do honey masks on their hair, their hands, and so it's kind of probably the same moisture. Same and thing, and we've talked before yeah. about different kinds of honey, oh, yeah. but this is one that, pretty much any honey. <clears throat> the next one, interestingly enough, ginger is something people don't use very much, but if you go out and buy just the ginger root, and do you know how a ginger root should be purchased? No, I do not. Okay, it should look like a running man. <laughs> that, that is the oriental view of, of ginger. It should have arms and legs. That's awesome, okay? yeah. And then you cut them off and you grate them. Okay. And grated ginger is about as strong as we know of for nausea, vomiting, GI digestion problems, and it's antibacterial. And it's, it's quite good in food. I know a lot of if you go to Asian places and have sushi, they always do a little ginger next to it and that's right. cleanses or, the palate. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. and now that's usually a marinated ginger. You can okay. get the fresh ginger okay. right, off of, right off of the uh, ginger root. Uh, echinacea is one that is probably, interesting enough, a fairly good antiviral, anti-cold, that type of thing. Okay. And so before you head to your doc, that might be one you'd think about. Okay. You can buy it in capsules. It's a flower. It doesn't cook well. But the main thing is, is it seems to take care of that sore throat that you get. Okay. With, yeah. with the cough and, and all the other congestion. Uh, several others in the list are okay, but you and I were just talking, and the one thing I'd say is avoid collodial. Yeah, I was asking you. Some people say, well, I'm getting sick. I'm going to take that pill. It's going to make me feel better. And you're saying, Stay away. That's the silver. Yeah. Yes, that's colloidal silver. And, and truthfully, it's a metal. It doesn't absorb well. It has major side effects on absorption of other minerals and other things. And no. Not good. Well, we have things like honey, cloves, garlic, ginger, all things we could use and all things people cook with every day. So. But not in spite of seeing your doctor. Yes. If you're Go sick. to the doctor first. You know, then maybe add it to your regimen. I don't want to miss a strep throat or take care of something else that we missed. But if you use it as prevention, and if you think about it, it's almost the Mediterranean diet. That is very true. I like it, and a lot of people do that. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Bruce. And next Tuesday, he'll have some more helpful tips for us. And coming up after the break, Ryan lets us know if the sun's going to stay shining for the next few days. We hope so. We'll be right back after this.